Well, first of all, I want to say this, and this is absolutely sincere. Um, no jokes aside, I just want to thank Tom Brady for a legendary career. And I'm just going to leave out all of the bias, um, whether it's biased or whether it's the absolute truth. We know what happened to all these scandals regarding the fact of championships, uh, Spygate, Deflategate, so many other issues that is happening, you know, that has happened and they are indeed true, all right? Make no mistake about it. But with all that aside, I just want to say to Tom Brady, um, one thing that I will say about, you know, your career, just as a, a football fan, you're definitely one of the legends. Um, that's without a doubt. Um, I put him in the category with LeBron, um, as guys that, for whatever reason, these guys, the stamina that these guys, the, the ability to play the game so many years without major injuries, you know, Matt Ryan, the true Iron Man of sports, Tom Brady is indeed that, um, one of the most accurate throwers of the football and you know he had an uncanny ability to just piss you the fuck off and i absolutely cannot stand tom brady for those reasons he's an arrogant prick um and justifiably so he is one of those guys that have gotten away with cheating he's gotten away with a lot of stuff all right but again that's all that aside tom brady is a goat He's one of the greatest. One thing I don't like to say is this guy's unquestionably the greatest because there's different eras um, of football and there were certain things that Joe Montana could get away with um, that Tom Brady can't get away with. There were certain things that Brady could get away with that Joe Montana could get. And the same thing for, you know, Matt Ryan, the rules change. You know, the way that the refs call game, the defenses, you know, back in the 60s, 70s. Um, these guys could literally, you know, put, build a club, you know, just a bunch of tape. And they could literally smash a guy upside the head with it and get away with it. This is things like Deacon Jones. These are the things that they did. They got away with it because of the rules. Um, and like now, those certain things, even with the rules in football, that you can't do that you can do you can't press guys you can't do touch a guy within five yards things like that but despite all of that tom brady you know he kept going he's a true iron man of sports and for that um he kept his body in shape much like a lebron like a matt ryan these guys are just iron man um obviously the championships that he's he's won not only with the New England Patriots but um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and I, like I said before I'm not gonna get into all the controversy whether or not he's a true goat at the at the end of the day I'm celebrating one of football's greats um, whether you know you hated him or loved him it was a must-see opportunity it was much it was must see tv when tom brady played whomever team whether it's the atlanta falcons at 28 to 3 it's you know new england it's the baltimore ravens um, um going against the jets with uh one of the best uh, offensive defensive coordinators rex ryan the wars that they've had you know the jets the ravens you know the steelers um, the Colts, Peyton Manning, him, Peyton Manning going back and forth. Um, like I said, all of that into one. Um, just watching and being able to see Tom Brady these, you know, a few years. It's been a pleasure. Um, but at the same time, uh, what this means for the Atlanta Falcons, 
what this means for the Atlanta Falcons is that the Atlanta Falcons are definitely one of the teams that are in the driver's seat. You got the Atlanta Falcons, man. Um, they finished the games uh, the year 7 and 10. Um, you got the Saints that are in absolute turmoil in the, um, the division. Um, they got $74 million. Sean Payton is no longer Tampa Bay. They are, are at the moment, they are quarterback. They don't have a quarterback. They won't have Tom Brady. Um, they have a young guy, Kyle Trask, that has absolutely no experience and a lot of guys who are just on a one-year contract. Carolina is a team, you know, they're making um, the necessary adjustments, but even they have their issues. So right now, Matt Ryan is the elder statesman in this division, and I think the Falcons are going to be in a position where they're going to run the division for quite some time. So, man, um, like I said before, Tom Brady, um, he's obviously one of the greatest of all time, and I just want to, uh, I just want to give this time out to just him to thank him for years of absolute horseshit, um, cheating, great games, great moments, hellacious moments, all of that. We know when Tom Brady. You know, when the Atlanta Falcons and Tom Brady, you know it's going to be some bullshit. You know it's going to be a good game. Or you know we're going to get our ass to it. All right? You knew you was going to be upset or happy. Either way, at the end of the day, got to respect Tom Brady for that. Um, a Hall of Fame career. A lot of people think he is the greatest. Um, I think he's one of the greatest. Um, like I said, he's definitely on the Mount Rushmore of quarterbacks. That's for certain. Um, I just don't think... In my personal opinion, you can say, all right, this one guy's to go. Um, because there's different eras, there's different rules, and I think he definitely is a Mount Rushmore um, of quarterbacks. He's definitely on that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, continue to support your boy, Matt Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons Nation, man. We appreciate you. Um, as far as Tom Brady is concerned, um, congratulations, you finally get to rest and sit home with your kids, sit home with your wife, enjoy life, and don't have to worry about the ins and outs of the NFL game. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, boy, man, Mike is out of here, man. Tom Brady, you're gone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus.